looking at our page, we see that it would be nice to display the name of the website on the top and also maybe we need a navigation menu. So we can add a new line at the beginning, a new row. So here it is. And let's uh, use shift. Uh, let's press the pl plus key or click here on insert element. And then we can use the insert code to easily create a link with class logo and uh, content and then we drag it on the page and again we press command or control on Windows and Linux to place it into a cell area, grid area. Let's do it here and then make it a bit larger and then let's place the menu and at the beginning we said we will choose a bootstrap project and even though we don't need the bootstrap grid columns rows and and containers still boot, bootstrap has a lot of useful ready-made components that we can use and combine with css grid so let's take a look at different navigations. So this looks okay, right? And again, we will hold down command to place it into a grid. And it should go up to here. Let's close the grid editor for a moment. And let's take a look at this navigation. What we want is to have it aligned on, on this side, on the right side. And to do that we can again use some of Flexbox properties which work with grid as well. So for example we can try this one, justify, right? And here it is. Now let's clean up um, the navigation bar, we don't need this one. Active, let's edit the names. And let's create uh, named grid areas. So let's open the grid editor. And we can create named areas for these two elements as well. So set grid area, logo, and menu. We can make this smaller. So it's not so pretty yet. Um, but uh, in the next step we can do some CSS styling to improve the design of our page.